I hope this man has learned a valuable lesson. If there is a God out there, I think the Lord doesn't want this man to sing ever again. Nope, just checked his YouTube channel. He's back to doing cover songs. Too bad he can't flip a house and smash a guitar across his head. Oh, wow, that was cold. That was very, that was bad. That was so horrible. I have to not laugh at myself. Oh, God, I'm going to hell when I die. Often people seek out my opinion because I am a sage of modern times. If Fousey Tube gets to be the Tupac of the modern era, then I feel I am the Nostradamus of YouTube. I have to really come up with a more culturally relevant thing to call myself. Anyway, Hello Games a few days ago had some message from Sean Murray. Now, I found out about this through Twitter. I think everybody did. And I was lazily going through Twitter seeing if I was famous yet. And newsflash, I'm not. Uh, doesn't matter how I try or hype my own videos or pretend to be other people to promote myself. <laughs> Uh, they still, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere. Anyway, there was a tweet from Hello Games, so it was like Hello Games was like the hashtag of the day. So I looked through it, and apparently, Sean Murray said, uh, he didn't say that. Sean Murray said, No Man's Sky was a mistake. Now this went to Forbes. Forbes got a couple messages from uh, Hello Games. It's pretty much confirmed this. Uh, let's see. Update. Polygon reports Sean Murray himself has taken credit for the tweet. In an email from his personal account, he writes, The tweet is from me, but somebody from the team took it down. We've not been coping well. Uh, whether Murray's email has been hacked, or the entirety of Hello Games has been hacked, or Murray was the disgruntled employee, it remains unclear. It certainly does appear to be the case, however. Now let's see, update two. Mashable got the same response as I did, but Sean Murray signed it. The email to yours truly was unsigned. So this is almost too bizarre to wrap my head around. Now there are multitudes of updates, about eight, and this shit is in depth. Indeed, what update did I leave off at? Update number three, Sean Murray is on Twitter saying their servers were hacked while well, this means earlier's correspondence was fake or if they were still hacked is also fake. It's sort of hard to say at this point. This is turning into quite the ridiculous conundrum. Update four, Murray or someone claiming to be Murray has now tweeted to that the supposed hack was due to LinkedIn. What I find frustrating in all of this is the contradicting information and the renowned silence of Hell 8 Games. Let's skip through all of this. Let's see. This was just tweeted by Sean Murray. Literally, uh, Sean Murray said at Hello Games, are you still hacked and stuff? Number six, Kotaku has some interesting updates on this, including the lengthy email they received that appears to be fake. Then again, that email looks utterly different from the very short one I received. I'm already done with this. This does not interest me. Not once have I seen a boob. So my interest level has been exceeded. All jokes aside though. Ugh, God. Hello Games is suffering from fame. Unfortunately, fame comes in stages. There is the rise to fame, the zenith that you reach once you're at the top, the pinnacle, the heights. Everyone loves you, you can do no wrong. Everything you touch turns to gold. Then you go through the Lindsay Lohan, Scott Weiland phase where you start to downward spiral. You're still famous, people love you, they're rooting for you, but you're kind of still fucking up and you're going down hard. Then you hit the Lindsay Lohan solo phase where you become an empty shell and husk of yourself. That is where No Man's Sky is. Within the course of the game releasing, it had become just such a hated and vitriolic piece of crap. Now, I blame this solely on Sony and the console boy zealots, the console fans. Now, this was on PC as well, but the PlayStation 4 exclusivity, the console wars are very much real. Now, I'm not saying every console gamer suffers from this, but there are a large variety and a number of these people that suffer from dementia. Honestly, I truly believe they're bedlamites. Their grasp of reality, their grasp of just basic human decency is little next to nil. Now, I also blame Sean Murray, but then again, when you think about it, what could this guy do? He looks like he's 150 pounds wet. He's built like a stick figure. How the hell is he going to go on stage at a press conference for this fucking game and tell the people, I'm sorry, but this game is not what we told you it was going to be. He knew that those PlayStation fans would jump on the stage, murder him, and rip him to pieces. They would tar and feather him. 
they would do things to his body that even German pornographers and Brazilians haven't even thought of yet. Sean Murray knew this, so every time he laughed like a scared clown. <laughs> no, there's no multiplayer. <laughs> you might be able to find your friends, but there is 18 quintillion billion planets out there. <laughs> oh God, don't kill me. I mean, when a journalist from Kotaku said that there was a leak stating that Hello Games No Man's Sky would release later than expected, the guy got death threats. People went out of their way to say they were going to find him and kill him because he wanted fucking No Man's Sky to, to suck. He was against No Man's Sky. The weird thing is how so many people tie their entire selves into video games. I, I kind of hate gaming at this stage of life now because this generation that's currently going on is just so vitriolic, so just attached to whatever game that they decide to get hyped about that they cannot stand to hear anything that could be bad with this game. It's as if they place all their hopes and dreams on it. Maybe in the back of the minds of these people that seem to be suffering from an extreme state of dementia, they think that this would be the game that truly turns around their life, that inspires them to get off their ass and do something. Maybe it makes their home life less shit. Maybe, you know, they'll stop being 150 pounds overweight if this game comes out. Something in this game will do something for them that will turn their lives around. And they cannot afford for it not to be perfect. This must be perfect because I couldn't make the swim team. Or I couldn't play on the football team. Or because Becky doesn't like me. I have fat toes. Please, Sean Murray, don't let no man size scuck. God damn it. But the point is, I... I can't wrap my mind around it. And I always knew that No Man's Sky was going to crash and burn. Now that Hello Games is pretty much over, let's face it, like, they're done. If they even think of putting out another game, people are going to immediately hate it off the bat. They will continuously tweet and send nasty emails to Hello Games like, This better not be another No Man's Sky. I'm not buying this because it's some of the same people who made No Man's Sky. Sean Murray is the devil. He works for Hillary Clinton, etc. And Sean Murray is probably hiding off in the woods somewhere, off the motherfucking grid. And occasionally, he goes down into town to buy some food. And then he decided to tweet, No Man's Sky was a mistake. <laughs> and that's how this all happened. Who knows? Who cares? Fuck it. I mean, really, my opinion was this. I knew No Man's Sky was going to be anything special, even when I saw the trailers. And the trailers had more to the game than came with the game. It just didn't seem right. It seemed like a very very lame indie game. Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great indie games, but this one smelled of lameness. And the fact that Sony pushed it out there, the fact that the console community got so far behind it because it was a Sony exclusive and Xbox fans wouldn't get it, and it's this us versus them mentality, it just became a snowball that rolled out of control. Sean Murray is responsible for what happened by not having the balls to stand up and say this isn't what it is, but then again, maybe he was contractually obligated. Maybe he really could not afford the lawsuit from Sony. You know, he couldn't just say before the game comes out, yeah, it's not as good as you think, and then all of the pre-orders go by, and Sony's like, we're suing you for sabotaging your own game. Who knows? Who cares? In other news, fuck it, I'm out of here. Roll the clip.